Okay, so today I have the Sony TCWA8ESA. ES, extra special. I believe it means extended something, brother, extended something. I don't know. But look at this Dolby B, C, S, noise reduction, HX Pro, headroom extension. Uh, extended standard, possibly. I'm not quite sure. Let me know if you have any thoughts on what the ES means. I know it sold for more money. And, yeah, it just sold for more money. W8ES. Power supply with FET buffer. This is a dual cassette deck that I've had laying around here for probably three or four years. And uh, I picked this thing up, set, like I said, several years ago with the intention of repairing it. I haven't even opened this thing up yet, but there is a sticker on the top of it. Strange sound from within. Uh, let me get back to manual focus. Actually, auto magical focus because I was in manual. And then we'll put it back in manual focus. Strange sound from within. No output in play. So I did go ahead and order a set of belts for this. So as you can see, there's two each. Capstan belt and probably a take-up belt. Hopefully they're the right ones. I can't send them back after several years. Oh, man, I've just been so busy. I have not had a chance to get to the stuff that I want to get to to make my life complete. I'm trying to take care of everybody else. And, of course, I'm not making videos on every single thing that I touch. But there is the Sony WA8ESA. I'm sorry, ESA. All right, let's go and pop the top off and see what it looks like inside two motor transport mechanism auto record level control but it has man manuel auto oh there it is auto record level just a single push button for automatic level control alc that's what they used to call it now it's arl okay all right one moment let me get the top off this thing see what it looks like inside well, not too terribly much going on inside here. Let's get rid of the auto magical focus and go to, excuse me, let's get rid of the manual focus and go to auto magical. So there is one of the mechanisms and there is the other. Are these both auto reverse? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone here. Let's take a look down inside here. Okay, so that one is certainly auto magical reverse. Oh, look at that pin troller. Ugh. Acetone to the rescue. And then this one over here. Oh, that one is auto magical reverse as well. Whoa, that thing is nasty. And like I said, this has been sitting in my storeroom for literally three, maybe four years. So uh, that one is currently in the reverse direction and this one is currently in the forward direction too bad it's not a three head deck but nevertheless let's see if we can do we see any belts looking inside here not really much i think i'm gonna have to pull the mechanisms out to see what the condition of the belts actually are. Um, oh no, wait a minute. Houston, we have a winner. Come on, focus. That glob you see right there? That's a belt. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be very, very good. Now let's see. Uh, whoops, wrong direction. Yeah, that's a belt. And what about down into this one? Uh, yeah, you see that little spike hanging off right there? Try to zoom in as much. Oh, too far. Yeah, that little spike hanging out. That's belt goo. Uh, these belts have been exercised and they've turned into glue. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and pull this thing apart and see what we can do with it. So I'm gonna go and cut away and I'll come back when I have both of the mechanisms out of the unit. One moment. Okay, both mechanisms are out of the unit and I labeled them A and A so I can get them back together and B and B. And I just noticed these are both recording mechanisms. Normally on a dual cassette deck, you'll get one playback only and one record playback deck. But both of these actually have erase heads as you can see right there. So let's start with mechanism A. I'm gonna push B aside over here. And I know I've done these before. I did these under warranty when I was a Sony servicer back in the eh, late 90s, early 2000s. So these things actually come apart pretty easily. Screw there, screw there, and screw all the rest of it because I think once you get those out, there's like a hook on the bottom, there's one of the hooks, and there's probably another hook under here. And then this thing just kind of lifts up and out. So let's see what we get by taking those two screws out. All right, screw that. And screw that. So now, as I recall, it's been a couple of days since I've done one of these. Please forgive me, probably 20 plus or more years. Oh, wait a minute. Screw that as well. Okay, and luckily all the screws are the same length. And okay, the head plugs in. Okay, we gotta get this little metal flap out of the way. Oh, there's where the head plugs in. So we definitely wanna disconnect that. Ugh, super, super fine wires. Now, I really don't wanna pry on the wires because they're so fine. I'm gonna try to lift up on both ends of it. Hopefully you can see. Yes, success. And we'll unpin it. God, these are probably 30, 34 gauge stranded wires. Oh, it just, oh. Nasty, oh, look at that. Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. Oh, shoot. Should I fire it with the pressure washer and try to get it out with that? Oh, that's nasty. Oh, man. Oh, even, wow. I mean, that's not much of a flywheel on here. Let's try to zoom in just a little bit. I think these are all plastic, but, oh yeah, it's trying to load. Um, yeah, a little acetone and a cotton swab will remedy that in a heartbeat. But this is going to be, oh, absolutely nasty. Especially that. Something got caught up in your tire. Yeah, okay. Well, I may just actually try to pop that pulley off of the motor shaft. It's just pressed on in place. I just got to try to remember the spacing, but I don't think it's that awfully critical. Plus, I definitely want to go ahead and give it a droplet of oil on the uh, the load side of the motor bushing right there to make sure things are going to be good. So let's go ahead and pop everything out. We'll mix up a bunch of acetone, which I happen to have right here. You've seen it before and you will see it again. My favorite solution, the magical solution acetone. All right, one moment. Okay, well, I did manage to pop off the gear off the end of the motor and it looks perfectly fine. So that is the piece that is pressed onto the motor shaft. Now I'll probably wanna scrub it just a little tiny bit, push that out of the way. Here is the actual motor pulley. And uh, yeah, I, I touched it, yeah. 
So we're going to soak that in some acetone, probably grab a paper towel and try to get this crap off of there first. I do need to go ahead and pop off the motor pulley right there. Uh, that's going to be a nightmare, but you know what? It's going to be fine. We're going to add a drop of oil to the motor, like I said before. Uh, August 10th, 1997 is when this thing was manufactured. The grease there and the grease there appears to look perfectly fine to keep thrust on the capstan shafts. And we are going to go ahead and remove the capstans and give them a good washing with acetone on both decks. Hopefully that takes care of it. And we do need to go ahead and pop that gear off and clean it in acetone as well. Okay, one moment. All right, well, a little bit better, but my fingers will never be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and just, that was not bad at all. Let's go ahead and get a uh, acid brush. That was not bad. This one's going to make a mess. I'm sure of it. Get all that crud off of there. You can't use acetone to clean this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Only heard that for how many years? 40 plus. Give it a quick wipe down with my acetone soaked fingers there. Okay, much better. And, oh, there they are, okay. Oh, much better. Look at that. It looks mint. Brand new. All right, so I'm just going to speed this rest up for you guys so it doesn't take so freaking long. All right, well, those look a lot, a lot better. No more crap hanging off of those things. Uh, my fingers may never be the same, however. But, yeah, looking much, much better. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one more rinse with acetone. And then we will try to reassemble this thing for one of the decks. And then we'll do the second one off camera. Yeah. Oh, that's just, it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. Got to get a new paper towel. Hang on. Okay, new batch of acetone. Hopefully do the final cleaning here. I mean, that one had some gunk on it. Just wanted to clean it off. So, yeah, much, much better. We'll hit all these guys one more time. Remember, this is only one deck. I have another one to do just like it. Oh, the acetone cut finder. I found a cut on my pinky.
Okay, so I have the A deck completely reassembled. All the belts are on. They're all aligned. Everything is good. The little shield is back in place. So a couple of things worthy of note that I wanted to show you if you're doing one of these things. So it's got these three posts right here. So if you loop the belt around those posts, those three and then these two right there, so it will allow you to assemble this unit and see if we can do it in real time. I've got everything lubed and ready to go. I've cleaned the capstan shafts and everything should hopefully go peacefully back together. If I can get everything hooked just right. Nope, that one's not hooked. So once you get this assembled like that, the belt is still on the hooks, basically. So let's go ahead and put in the three screws, one in the center of the circuit board. Hopefully you can see that one. That one only needs to be basically snug and not super tight. This one should be very snug because it is a ground screw. These are all the same length, so you don't have to worry about one being longer or shorter than the other one. Make sure that one is tight so it connects the ground to the chassis right there. So like I've said, I've gone ahead and lubed up the motor shaft. Everything should be good. So once that happens and you have your belt around here, just go ahead and peel it off. And then hopefully if everything is aligned correctly, you won't have any twists in it. That one looks good to me. And this one... Peel it on to the pulley just like that. And as far as I can tell, everything is assembled correctly. That is great. So let's go ahead and finish looping the head wires. They go up and underneath and then through this little slat right there and then they plug in right over here and then you just bend this around like that to keep it retained so the next thing I'm going to do is eject this unit it should and it won't open up Keep it open now. Yep, it will. I want to go ahead and remove the pinch rollers and clean them. So uh, there's a tab. My hands are freaking dirty from all these dirty belts. Uh. Okay. Move this tab up. Well, we'll close the door and try it. <clears throat> Come on. Freaking really right now. There we go. You can see this. Reopen the door. Then we 
just a slight amount of encouragement. There we go. The pinch rollers will be free. So what you can do is go ahead and pop these units out. They're just barely snapped into place like that. And what I typically do is go ahead and just add a drop of lube to the shaft right here and I'll clean the pinch roller with a paper towel and some acetone. Oh, wow. Got a lot of stuff off of that guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little drop of oil. There we go. Make sure this spins very, very freely. And we'll do the second one off camera and then bring you back when everything is done. Okay, so both decks have been reassembled and ready to go. I have the A deck and the B deck. Uh, belts have been replaced. Uh, capstan shafts have been lubed, ready to go. Pinch rollers cleaned. Everything should be good on both decks. So let's go ahead and throw this junk back together and see if it wants to play a tape. Ah, shoot. Ah, oh, doggone it. Got to take it apart once again. Okay, here we go. First power up. Power has been applied. Power on. Let's pop a tape into it and see if it wants to play. Play. Yeah, the tape is moving. And I do see audio on the display. And let's go to tape. And the tape is actually playing. So, of course, I can't play much of this because of an audio strike. So let's stop this one, eject, and we'll go to tape two, or B as the case may be. Hit play, and it is not playing. No take up, what the heck? No take up in reverse either, what the? How about fast forward? It just confused? Nope, no take up. No take up forward or reverse. Ah, the gift that keeps on giving. So let me show you what's going on with this thing. So play. Yeah.
No take up at all. Stop. Stop it. So what is going on with this? Well, yeah. There we go. Anybody got a pencil? Uh, shoot. Well, A works fine. Let me show you A. Play. Reverse. Works perfectly. So, doggone it. Gotta pull this thing apart. This side. Oh my goodness. The gift, like I said, that keeps on giving. One moment. Okay, all back together once again. And it is playing and the tape is actually taking up in both directions. So it turns out when you go ahead and put this motor back together right there, you can't sandwich the gears too tightly together or they won't actually move. But there it is. Tape B playing. Forward and reverse. And then there is tape A. Plays perfectly in both directions. Well, that is going to be it for the Sony TCWA8ESA. The ES, what is that? Extended standard, extra standard, something. I don't, I don't know. I mean, enlighten me, please. But that's it. Belts replaced. Things back on the road once again. I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're down there, if you could please hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Once again, as of now, please leave me a comment. That is the best way to contact me. I do try to answer emails. I just haven't had time. Things have been so hectic in the last, well, year, basically. Thank you, everyone, for making it to the end of this video. I really, really appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. All right, check, 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 one, two, three, check, check, check. None of that, none of that. None of that.